Okay, question number three. Uh, I love this question because I, you know, it comes up almost every year, it seems like. So basically, I'll just summarize the question. We want to figure out which of the following cube-shaped cells are going to be the most efficient in removing waste by diffusion. Okay, and of course, they give us the formula for surface area of a cube, which is six times F squared, where S is the uh, length of the side of, of the cube. Okay, so remember, any time that we want uh, basically max diffusion, we want a large surface area to volume ratio, right? I want tons of surface area, but I just want a small volume because if I have a small volume, the material doesn't have to travel very far. And if I have a high surface area, the flux or the rate of diffusion of the material out is gonna be really large. So they give us that the formula for the surface area of a cube is six times S squared, right? Now I know that the volume of a cube so I'll say V cube, I know that that's going to be length times width times height. And because it's a cube, it's just going to be the um, side length cubed. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and, and write this out. And you'll see that our S's are going to cancel. So I will have six divided by S. So therefore, my maximum diffusion is going to be the answer choice with the largest, or excuse me, with the smallest side length. Because a fraction, if I have a large denominator, then I get a small number. So I want a small denominator so that I get a large number. So if I go over to my answer choices, I just need to pick the one that's the smallest. So this, these three are larger than answer choice A, and therefore answer choice A is the correct answer. Um, and yeah, it is the correct answer. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll see you in the next video.